Four years after the conflict began in Darfur, the number of displaced people in camps like this one continues to grow. Violence and hardship are an almost daily... What do you think sets Tina apart from other vocalists as far as maybe her uh, attack or delivery uh, on a lyric? It's uh, passion. I think without a doubt uh, that she comes to deliver the goods. I mean, they there's no doubt that she sings a lyric when she when she comes to town, you know, when she's delivering a song. I think the main thing she's got is passion, you know, and that can overlook a lot of other things, you know, and it's so strong that uh, people can feel it. And she and people began to feel like, you know what, she's talking to me. She wins, but you look so good to me. And it's funny how it gets me every time when we kiss A thousand different feelings cross my mind And that's a gift because a lot of artists don't have that. A lot of artists have a lot of technique. You know, they can sing all kind of scales and do this and that. But she's got the ability to bring a raw emotion, what I call earth. You know, there's a lot of depth in there, and, and it touches people in a very strong way. I think she could very easily move right into the jazz world. She could, she, but she straddles both anyway. I mean, a lot of the songs and some of her more popular songs have been more jazz based. Uh, uh, with using upright bass or using jazz players to, to, to play her music. So it's always had a little bit of that in it, you know, and so seamlessly, absolutely, she could do it. Uh, there are a lot of art, there, now I won't say a lot, but there, there are a few artists that can do this, like Aretha Franklin could do it, Tina can do it, you know, certain artists that come from that genre that can do it, and, and you say, oh yeah, okay, I see that, you know, that that is real. And like I said before, uh, uh, the main thing is it's got to be authentic. And with her, I feel it's authentic. So much so, probably, that uh, was that one of the reasons why you chose to select her for your Sudan? Man, I had, you know, I had something to say with Sudan. I mean, it's a terrible situation. And I didn't want to do the song by myself. I wanted somebody who could bring it home. And, you know, there's not too many people who can bring it home like Tana could bring it home when you want to make a statement. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I was fortunate enough that I did the first verse, I had Jonathan Butler come in, I wanted some help from some other people, and I said, Tina's got to close this one out, because I know she knows how to deliver a lyric. And so I chose her because I knew that she knew what to do with it. I mean, even if she didn't know, I knew that she knew what to do with it. You know, and so, hey, it was the right choice. When I first heard it, I said, oh, this, this is it. This is it. I mean, there's nothing else to say.